everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to my um, channel. It's Heather's Crafts. So I try to make things easy for you to do. Today we are going to be making a yarn doll. This one here. Excuse me, I got one hand going. There we go. <laughs> she looked like a mess there for a minute. Yeah, we're going to make this pretty yarn doll. So, yeah, why don't you go ahead and get everything set up. And let's go ahead and make her. Okay. Um, let me get just my camera here. I'm going to put a little bit of lighting on my phone so you can see better because it's dark in this room. But anyway, um, to make this yarn doll, we need scissors. Um, I have some paint here if you want to put like a face on it. Up to you. You'll need some type of book here. Some yarn. It doesn't matter um, what kind of yarn. And some tape. So, what we're going to do now... I'm going to go ahead and start on the body. I had to ravel some of this yarn up real quick. Ah. It's one of those tangled ones. I, I don't even know if I want to use this yarn. I might just use this yarn here. Can you see that? Oh, that light might be too bright. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start here at the beginning. I'm gonna face it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of tape there so it doesn't fall off. Get that out of the way. I just tape it on there real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and just ravel it around just like this. And I'm going to do this about a hundred times. So when you get to a hundred, just come back and we'll do more. Okay, I am back to where I stopped at a hundred. I'm going to go ahead and put the scissors here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it to about right there at the end here. And then I'm going to cut another string off. Like that. And I'm going to kind of tuck it under here like this. Make sure you get it all. Did I? that excuse me there it is <clears throat> pull through like this try to keep that down like that and kind of put it in the middle see that's middle there you want to tie it like this and double tie it so it stays secure. Really put it on there tight. Just like that. If you want to do another another tight, but I think that's alright. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over here. Get this paint out of the way scissors will cut and I'm going to take this in the middle here I'm just going to cut like so just like that she cut all of them ah. just like that 
can always refix it too. Okay. Got the, got the tape on there. So now we got the body part. Um, where I sat there and, um, tied it. I'm going to tie it in the back here. Let me find it. It's right here. I think it's it. Where is it? Where's my little tie? There it is. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and tie it in the back here too. Just to get double, double tying here. I've never worked with this kind of yarn before. So, oh man. Ah, it tore off, but that's okay. <laughs> I pulled a little too hard. <laughs> Woo, shoot. Just like that. There. It's all good. My phone just fell. <sighs> Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, this is the body part. I'm going to set that to the side. And we're going to do the hair. But we are going to do it this way. Let me go ahead and pull it out. And I did have tape where to go. I think it fell as well. Okay. Here we go. We're going to tie this part right there. And I'm going to shoot. Stay on there, please. Stay, stay on there, please. Sometimes you just gotta hold it there. And then I'm just gonna keep wrapping. Um, you can go 20, you can go 30, depending on how long or thick you want the hair. So I'm probably gonna go about 30. So meet me back here when you got to the number that you want. Okay, I got it to the length I want, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right about there. And then I'm going to cut another white string to tie it. I'm going to take this here in the middle. And I'm going to tie it just like that. Okay. Just like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and slide it off here, get the tape off. Go ahead and try sliding it off here. Come on. Here we go. Now, I'm going to take the body part. Hold on a sec. Let me go ahead and cut this. Let me go ahead and cut this part right here. Cut the bottom here. Try to make it even. Like so. Cut, cut, cut. 
Okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut the body like that. Okay, um, I'm gonna place the hair part right here. And the two strings that I knotted on there, I'm gonna go ahead and um, tie it. Okay, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there it is. It's kind of difficult trying to find this. There we go. You take the two that you've already tied and tied it around where the tie part is right here. And you wrap it around here and go ahead and tie it in the back like this. Kind of double knot it. Always got to double knot, double check things. Just like that. Hairs on there. Then, ah, come on, take our head here and kind of take another piece of string. Kind of make the head part here, just like that. This is kind of hard yarn to work with, so you kind of got to be very careful on tightening it, or it's gonna break. As you've seen earlier, it broke on me. I don't know if I'm loving the hair part. It's too, I don't know, too thin maybe. I'll see. Okay. Maybe I'll get another string. This doesn't look tight enough. She's just gonna have a white light string here. I should not have picked this kind of yarn out because it looks terrible at the moment. Oh. oh well, I'll be a little bit of the decoration there. I want it to be tight like that. You know what I'm saying? Like wants to pop back up. Do it again. There. It's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Just like that. Now I'm probably going to take, let's see how many sections here. Just a little bit for the braiding. 
Okay, for the arms. Let's see, how many should I take out? I still want her to be... Okay, that's got to be one, two, three. Uh, probably about 20. Probably about 20. And go ahead and braid. Down like this. It's looking cute so far. Cute, cute, cute. I'm going to go ahead and stop right about there. My scissors are here so it don't unravel. I'm going to use a white piece of yarn again to tie. go like that I'm go ahead and give it a little good trim right here too like that okay and we're going to do the other side. She's got, so she's got, tell me braid on here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Did about five, about 20 over here. 20 over here. Make it even. I don't want it to look crappy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and braid just like this, all the way down. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's about. That's about right. me another white string. Cut it. And go ahead and wrap it around here. Untie it. Just like that. And do it again. And tie it. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and trim this up a little bit. Like so. Okay, now she's looking kind of cute. She's looking cute. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of make the dress part. And get the hair again. do the white string again because it seems to maybe making it tighter I mean it's kind of matching you know it's not like yeah. white and black go with everything <laughs> as far as I know so I'm going to go ahead and make like a dress part right here just kind of right here 
like a little princess dress. Got like right here. Go ahead and tie it like that. Stay, stay, <laughs> stay. It keeps wanting to pop up because his yarn is so thick and hairy. It's like, uh, there we go. Maybe I'll put like a little, make like a little bow or something. Kind of tie it like that. That'll look cute. Put a little bow on it. Just like that. That look cute, guys. Okay. And then for like the guys or whatever, if you wanted to make pants, you could do that. Just kind of spread that out. But she's gonna have a dress. So you can I'm just gonna leave it blank. She looks pretty without a face. <laughs> Okay, there she is, she is so cute, she's got the cute arms and the hair, I don't know if you can see her, and everything. Some people have them googly eyes that they buy, but I didn't have any. I was going to just go ahead and, you know paint her face but I didn't see that working too well so but this is her this is the yarn doll so I hope you like so pretty simple easy I mean there's all kinds of ways you can make her yarn dolls so but if you like this video hit thumbs up subscribe um, hit that bell button and get notified every time I post a new video. So sorry about the little goof ups here and there. I was just using a different yarn. I wasn't wanting to do that, but I did anyway. So, but anyway, I hope you liked this doll. I hope you make one of your own for your kids and I will talk to you later. Bye.